It's 5 p.m. I'm sitting in an airplane at LaGuardia. The captain says there will be a delay. Oh no, this isn't good, you see. I've got to be in Washington, D.C. tonight to play for Mel Torme. Out the window of the airplane, lightning's crashing, winds are thrashing, skies are dark and rain is whipping by. Still somehow three hours from now, I've got to be in Washington, D.C. This plane has got to fly. I did not tell a soul last night about my little New York flight. I knew that I could make it back in time. But now it looks like Mel Torme may play tonight without the bass. And let me tell you, that would be a crime. That would be a crime. I really hate to say it, but I think my luck has finally run out. My warranty has just expired. Because if I am not in Blues Alley tonight at 8 o'clock and playing bass for Mel Torme, I will be fired. You see, I really like this job. We always have a lot of fun. Everybody gets along real well. We play a lot of real nice music. I get lots of solos. But now I'm going to blow it all to hell. It's going to be curtains with Torme. I'm very sad to have to say I will be history. I will be gone. So as the plane just sits right here, I'll figure out a new career. But adios, Mel. I'll be moving on. I'll be moving on. Moving on. Then around 6.35, the engines roar. They come alive, and seconds later, we are in the air. I begin to think that there is hope that I may somehow make this gig tonight. Oh, do I even dare? But God, the weather's terrible. We're flying right through thunderstorms, yet the captain just keeps pressing on. Now the airplane's diving, dumping, jiving, jumping, bouncing, bumping. Look, I can see the White House lawn. <laughs> it defies all understanding how we could be really landing. But at 7.30, we touch down. Congratulations, Captain. No, I never had the slightest doubt. Now, pardon me, I've got to get downtown. I get a taxi right away with absolutely no delay. I tell the taxi driver of my plight. Before we even settle down, he mashes that old pedal down. We fly to town as we make every light. Make every light. <laughs> Clock we reach Blues Alley, I walk in quite casually, as if I weren't under such distress. I saunter through the restaurant trying to be nonchalant, but inside, but inside I am a total mess. I see the show has not begun, they're waiting for me, oh isn't this fun? I don't think I'll survive. So fully prepared to meet my doom, I walk into the dressing room and find I'm the first one to arrive. <laughs> With all my worry and my fear, it turns out I'm the first one here. Sometimes life can be sublime. In spite of all the stress and strain I went through on that stinking plane, I'm the only one who's here on time. The only one on time. The others frantically arrive, apologizing all the way. They're rushing around, they're in a panic like musicians on the Titanic. I say, fellas, 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 it's okay. Everyone, including Mel, is rushing around, upset as hell, while me, I am as calm as I could be. Here I almost blew the gig, almost screwed up really big, but now I'm Mr. Punctuality. <laughs> That's me. 
<laughs> I was absolutely certain I would never make this curtain. This gig would be the death of me. I could feel the noose around my neck. I was a total nervous wreck. But now, Mr. Punctuality. <laughs> It's 5 p.m. I'm sitting in an airplane at LaGuardia. The captain says there will be a delay. Oh no, this isn't good, you see. I've got to be in Washington, D.C. tonight to play for Mel Torme. I'm on time, and everything's on okay, and I'm going to play for Mel. Isn't that, isn't that epic? Is that an epic cool. performance? That's cool. I'm going to take cool. that and sell it. There you go. <laughs> Jay Lanehart and also Tomoko Ono. Yeah, very she's nice. Lovely. Very the good. wonderful Tomoko Ono. Yeah, she's, a, she's great. Very talented. Oh, though. indeed. Not, not you, her. Uh oh. <laughs>